today I'm going to show you uh, how to design the posterior parasail or, or post them. Okay. On your cast, you have you have you need to mark a few uh, several uh, marks. Eh? Okay. First is the gingivo palatal line or the crest of the ridge. Eh? Gingivo palatal line. Okay. This is actually the remnants of the palatal uh, fibrous tissue of the natural teeth, eh? left and right side. to the hybrid notch and then you have to identify the midline of the cast eh? and then draw a line mid between the midline to the gingival palatal line eh? middle okay. and identify the fovea palatini Okay, from the fovea palatini, you mark one millimeter to indicate the posterior end of the uh, of your the denture. Okay, draw a line from hemi notch to the marking one millimeter marking behind the fovea palatini, and continuously towards the other end of the hemi notch. Okay. This will mark the most posterior end of your denture. Okay. The line in the patient's mouth, the posterior end here, is determined by the vibrating line that you have to check. You have to check inside the patient's mouth because uh, patients that there will be variation variations between patients. But in the, in optech project, the data technology project, you have to mark one millimeter behind the fovea palatini. Okay, the mid line between the gingival palatal line and the mid line of the cast will indicate the deepest part of the butterfly shape. Okay, we will draw butterfly shape post them. The peak of the butterfly shape will be at the mid at the mid line between the mid line of the cast to the gingival palatal line it is about 4 mm okay so from hemi notch you draw the butterfly shape okay for clinical case sometimes you can extend the butterfly shape is slightly 1.5 mm, uh, mm towards the distal buccal vestibule. Okay. Some clinical cases you can extend eh, beyond uh, the hemorrhage notch. Okay. So this will be the deepest part of the uh, post dam. In the clinic, uh, in the dental technology project, you measure 4 mm but in clinic this is the most palpable area so some patients in some cases it does not extend until 4 mm maybe 2 or 3 mm okay so this is the area that most palpable in the patient's mouth huh? most palpable means that you can compress okay in the clinic After you have satisfied, satisfied with the design of the uh, post dam, then you can use the lacron cover to carve the uh, post dam area. You can carve from here at the middle notch area. This is the, uh, the deepest part here will be 0.5 mm. Okay? The depth, sorry, the depth of the uh, post dam area at the hemorrhage notch area is 0 0.5 the deepest part here can be up to 1.5 mm okay at the fovea palatini area because this is the less compressible area the, the depth will be only 0 0.5 okay 
Okay. So use the and here, okay, to do the carving. Do it slowly, okay? Do not rush. Okay, from the deepest part, you carve upwards. Eh? This slope should continuous. Okay. okay. From the deepest part here, should be continuous until the peak. Eh? But, uh, there should not be any uh, steps at the peak of the butterfly here. Okay, when you carve, Cuff slowly, okay. So, uh, in the end, the end result, there should be smooth surface okay, of the carving area, of the calf area. The post dam is extended slightly beyond the hamir notch. The deepest part of the post dam area can be seen and continuous until to the peak of the butterfly. Wing, eh? okay, and should be smooth. Eh? If okay, you can carve slowly, okay, but make sure this part here is not too deep eh? at the forbidden palatine area. Okay, if you are not satisfied, you can deepen until you get zero one point five at the deepest part here. Okay, so there should not be. Uh, Depression at the peak of the butterfly wing here. But there is depression at the deepest part of the butterfly post area. Okay?